What is good you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn and I'm here to help you assume the position of who it is that you want to be because my love, you are the only thinker in your reality. You may not think that but you are and you can be doing have whatever it is that you want in your life. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and also if you would like coaching from me, I will put it in the description box below and I will also tag it in the comments. So you guys, you saw the title of this video and I really want to take a little bit of a deep dive on this because your thoughts are not the problem. There's actually no problem at all. But I really want to go into a little bit of a deep dive with thoughts because I was someone that used to live up in my head and I used to take everything that my brain and the thoughts that were coming to my my orbit, I would take it and I would hold on to those and I would create the stories with those thoughts. And then next thing you know, I'm living unfavorable circumstances. So if that's someone, if you're someone who can't get out of your head, you really need to watch this video. So the thing about thoughts, you guys, that you really need to know is that your thoughts are just tools. Your brain, your mind is a computer. That's all it is. It's a computer, all right? And it works with you. It works with your heart. It works with the source. It works with what you're loving, with what you're being and where you're moving from within. This is why I say that the way is within you because it is, all right? And a lot of us, we have went through our whole life living up here that we take everything that this says as fact. All right. So thoughts themselves are just tools and thoughts are doing what thoughts do. They just appear, exist in this space. Thoughts are everywhere, you guys. Thoughts from other people, thoughts from you, thoughts from information out here in the world. Thoughts are everywhere. And what they're doing is they're just waiting on someone to grab onto. They want you to grab onto them and they want you to get involved with them. All right. So if you could think like this. Thoughts are just floating by, right? And the more that you pick a thought, you pick a thought up and it could be one that you like or one that you don't like, all right? So you picked up the thought, let's say that you are arguing with your SP and you want it to be, you want to be cordial with them, but you think the thought that things will never get better with them. So you think that things will never get better with them. That's the one thought that shows up. Then you grab onto that thought. You grab onto it, you hold onto it. And what do you do with that thought? You start thinking of all the ways that it's not good. And you start looking for all the ways that it's not good. And then you start going on this journey and then you start grabbing onto more thoughts that confirm that thought. And then the next thing you know, in your reality, that's what, that's what it is. It's not good. It's never going to get better with them, right? So thoughts are just there because they want to be acknowledged. They want to be accepted. They want to be grabbed onto. And when you grab onto them, then you make the story out of it, you guys. This is why I'm so... This is why I really want you guys to understand about stories and the stories that we tell ourselves because the stories come from us grabbing onto thoughts. And a lot of the times we grab onto a lot of unfavorable thoughts, okay? What makes the thoughts the perceived problem? The thought becomes a perceived problem when you identify with the thought, you guys. When you identify with the thought and then you make it mean something about you, which is which is when a perceived problem comes along. But remember, there are no problems, just perceived problems. And when you think about it like this, when you get into a state of being someone who, let's say the SP situation again, you grab onto the thought that things would never get better with them and whatever, you, you're just in an unhappy place, right? So you have to think about it. That thought, that one thought that made that story up now has a character here. So the character that is you, who you're being now when you were in that situation, has a list of rules, has a list of mindset and concepts that they believe that make that character up and which makes all the scenarios in your life, including the one with your SP, including how the 3D is interacting with you, it makes the storyline up. So it makes the film role thrive. It makes it survive by the thoughts and the emotional investment, you guys. And so within this, I really want to talk about Dr. Joe Dispenza when he talks about heart and mind coherence, because a lot of us live up here so much that we don't recognize or even acknowledge our heart space or acknowledge within us the source which we are the source through all of this comes from. If you are the source, and we know that we've been talking about it, you guys, you are the source. 
and what you're doing within yourself is what's happening so when you you don't realize that because we only live by our mind a lot of us only live by our mind out here but we when you link up with heart and mind coherence it starts with the heart first it starts with the knowing that you are capable it starts with the love within yourself the awareness within yourself becoming conscious within yourself that you deserve whatever it is that you want and that the possibility is there that it can be done and when you start with that first and you sit within here and recognize what you are doing within yourself where you are moving from within yourself and where you are being from within yourself because the story comes from the heart space you guys the thoughts just feel it the thoughts move you into that direction by you creating that emotional investment into that story okay so we know that you can always change your story you guys all right or you don't need a story at all but if you were to change the story, then you would have to know, you would have to really desire to be different. You would really have to desire in your heart space to know, to be consciousness, to know more of yourself, okay? Because manifestation is about being on a journey to know yourself and you know yourself through your experiences. You know that you are source through your experiences. The more that you manifest what you want, the more that you make the change, that is you knowing yourself and knowing that you are source, okay? So the thing is, what is the solution then when it comes to these thoughts that we have? The solution is to disidentify with anything outside of you and to also disidentify with the thoughts, okay? So the thoughts are not you. They are just mirrors of who you are being. And it's just what you've caught on to, what you've held on to, the story that you told yourself, and now you have a whole lifeline out of it, okay? But you have to disidentify with your mind, disidentify with thoughts that are unfavorable, disidentify with thoughts in general, and disidentify with the conditions that came from those thoughts because it's not who you are. You are the source. You are the source itself. You are pure consciousness and pure awareness. And the thing is, when you are finally aware and gain the consciousness that where you are in your life, you don't you don't want it anymore, then it has the ability to dissolve. It has the ability from that point to move into another lifeline. All right. So the more that you disidentify with your thoughts and live from within here first you go to the source first and then the mind conforms with the source and they work together but a lot of the times we are living up in our heads running on a computer program up here and taking the thoughts and connecting to the next thought connecting to the next thought connecting to the next thought and then we we spiral and we we're disconnected and we feel separate from the source you guys so it starts from the heart first it starts from the source first and then you move your way into the thoughts they work together you guys they work together but do not identify with your thoughts you guys don't identify with anything outside of you you should be holding you your consciousness your awareness above all in this reality all right because through that is where your manifestation unfolds so i'm actually going to leave that video here but guys really disidentify with your thoughts they're not you it's only when you make it your identity is when you have the problem all right there are no problems all right there's only lifelines for you to choose from and if you know that you are god doing it you can move to another lifeline all right but do not make your thoughts become you all right because then you'll always have to feel as if you have to do something in order to change the the thoughts or to fix the thoughts you see the story that we come that comes up in our mind now you feel as if you have to actually do something to change the thought but it was only because you linked up to the thought and emotionally invested in it and it created a whole lifeline. So you have to disidentify your identity from it and disidentify the emotion from it and pull yourself back inward to being the source, okay? You can do it. I believe in you. Now, imagination. Remember, imagination from where you're living within, from where you're being within, you guys, it's on your side. It's always on your side. And I'm too. I will see you guys later. Bye.